Good morning, HHS. Today is February 12th. On today's show, Electifair, Jonathan Warner, Game Design, Nerds vs. Geeks, and Jack Fleming Dive. This is your morning news. Good morning, HHS. I'm Chris Munoz. And I'm Amit Akbari, and this is your morning news. Spring sports are warming up, and there are several upcoming meetings, tryouts, and preseason workouts. If you are interested in playing spring sports, tryouts are starting this week. You must have an up-to-date physical to try out for any spring sports. Jack Fleming dealt this season, being uh, doing better than ever. Chris, uh, John Karakoff has the story. On February 5th, 2018, Jack Fleming competed in the Class 5 Region D Championship for Dive at Christianburg, Virginia. Jack competed in the 20 meter springboard and took first with 11 dives. Jack is going on to compete at state championships in Vienna, Virginia as the defending 4A champ. On January 24th, HHS hosted the electives fair, a night where students and parents are able to learn about the electives and clubs HHS offers. Chris Munoz brings us the story about some of those clubs you can join. Recently, HHS held the electives fair, and here are some of the clubs and electives that will be offered for the coming years. Um, on the Road is all about youth empowerment. Um, we work from Skyline through the high school. Um, for the high school, we have Ninth Grade Academy, um, which teaches uh, self-development, and then we also have a new apprenticeship program, which um, is for ninth through 12th, and you can come and uh, choose between four different categories. You get to follow around professionals from the community and see if that's a job that you would be interested in, and it's, uh, it's a really great opportunity to um, investigate different jobs and stuff like that. Well, Q Club is more of a uh, community-based uh, group that we uh, go out and help the community in most of uh, most of the activities that we do. We uh, we outreach to anyone that needs uh, any help with any activities or events that they might be holding, and it's a really it's a really fun program. Uh, if you're new to a high school or if you're just getting to know people, it's a really good way to uh, learn. Um, about how high school works from higher classmen. Uh, it's if you don't really know many people in the high school, it's a good way to uh, make friends, to have experiences that you've never ex had before, and to a uh, greater extent, you really have fun. It's people are always nice, friendly, and. I think people will enjoy it if you could, if you would join. For well, interpreters, is a club is a really great way for you to speak your natural language, so you can practice your natural language, and for you to also help our community with interpreting at different schools, and also allows you to communicate and get job offers with other schools, and also to really to really come in close in contact with your fellow students and to really understand your culture and other people's cultures. Well, the minimum is that you gotta at least speak two languages. Preferably English and another language, but what's it called? This is not just Spanish. This is open to all languages of all kinds. This has been HHS Broadcasting signing off, and remember to sign up for broadcasting. Make sure to ask your counselors about electives, and don't forget to sign up for broadcasting. Two new games on the App Store have been... Junior Jonathan Warner has been busy programming games. He recently published two onto the App Store. So he has Lawnmower Man and then Color Switch. I only have Lawnmower Man. So Lawnmower Man is kind of the name. You just mow a lawn and then you upgrade your lawnmower and uh, like how it works and stuff. And you can get gain more money. And then end game is getting a gold lawnmower. I didn't encounter any real setbacks. It was just a slow climb to get them to completion. 
I don't know. It depends on how bored I get, which probably not going to get that bored. I have a lot of homework. Uh, I know he's made Lawnmower Man, and I know he's made Color Switch, and he shared a game with me called Untitled 52. But oh. I played it, and it was fun, so, you know, yeah. My favorite game that I've played for him is probably Color Switch. It's really cool, because, like, it's an innovative design, and, like, I like what he did, because it's a really simple game, but it's also a lot of fun, and it's kind of hard, but once you learn how to play, it's, like, a really cool game. They're pretty fun, even though they're simple, they're pretty fun, and it's kind of nice to see that people are making stuff and, you know, pursuing dreams, I guess. I'm, nobody's paying me any money, because I'd have to be getting paid money to be making a profit. Well, in one of them, you swipe up and down, and the lawnmower moves. In the other one, you swipe diagonally, and these colored squares move. Unfortunately, it's not available on Google Play, but if you have an iPhone, go check out Jonathan's work on the App Store. Evan went on a little adventure on figuring out what were the major differences between nerds and geeks. Some students at HHS are intelligent, but there are subcategories within intelligence. Some students fit into the category of nerd, and others in the category of geek. I'm just really into the sort of superhero type stuff. Definitely a geek. Pretty much the only thing I do outside of school is play video games and read comic books. And I think that's pretty much a geek. I feel like geek you like is like a higher tier on the scale. But like nerd is like something you like really appreciate and know a lot, a not a lot about and stuff. I'm definitely a nerd for my thing. It's definitely Star Wars. I'm a total Star Wars nerd. I would consider myself more on the geek side because I, when I'm interested in something, I tend to dive right into the topic and just. My entire personality changes based on what I'm interested in at the time. It's difficult to be on one end of the spectrum. It's like trying to say that you're strictly a Democrat or strictly a Republican. Most people are somewhere in the middle. Playing Dungeons and Dragons, sitting in front of a computer screen, typing strange symbols in. Thanks, Evan. So. Look forward to Valentine's this week, because that's coming up. Anyways, that's all we got for you today, folks. I'm Chris Munoz. And I'm Rita Stay classy, HHS.